Hey, what's up everybody? Timothy here with Manorox. Welcome back to our uh, companion extravaganza or whatever you want to call it. I don't know. We've got four companions left. We've played six so far. We've had fun with a lot of the decks. Some of them not as good, mainly my homebrew, sad face. So far, well, I guess remaining, we have Kahira, Obosh, Loris, and Gigantha. Um, some interesting ones going on there. I think Kahira and Gigantha are two of perhaps the worst, whereas Obosh is definitely making waves in standard Luris as well. But you know the deal by now. We're going to go ahead and spin our wheel, let fate determine which of these wonderful companions we're going to play with today. And it looks like, oh my gosh, it's Obosh. Obosh it is. Yay, woo! All right. So let's go ahead and check out the deck real quick. Um, this came from a user named Runeclaw Barrich on a line, just kind of a random deck list. I don't know if this is like a stock deck list that people have been playing or if this won a tournament or anything like that, but as you can see, it's a uh, mono black Obosh, the Prey Piercer. This is one of those decks where you frequently cast your companion because it does just turn a board of odd cost creatures into a ton of damage. You have two main board duresses, those come in handy, but they're not great. For the most part, since you don't have three drops, the game plan is to play a one drop on turn one and then hopefully play two more one drops on turn two. Um, doesn't always work out that way. Uh, you've got drill bits as hand disruption. I don't know that I would actually play six um, discard spells here if I were just making this deck myself, but I'm going to trust the people who made Mythic with these sorts of decks. Here's an interesting one. Hunted Nightmare. This is a one black black for four or five minutes, so it's just a huge creature, but your opponent gets to put a death touch counter on one of their own creatures when it enters the battlefield. What I've noticed is that when I played this deck uh, kind of on my own, I was constantly playing against decks where that downside was just big enough that I never wanted to cast this card, and then there were cards like Mayhem Devil where if I had a Hunted Nightmare in my hand, I couldn't cast it at all. Like, I literally could not cast Haunted Nightmare because you can't put a death touch counter on a Mayhem Devil. It's just absurd. They kill this right away and then start murdering everything else. But um, Rod and Registrar, really nice. The the Rakdos matchup in general is extremely bad for this deck because you play things like Rod and Registrar, Hunted Nightmare. They have downsides for you and then your opponent just like claims the first board and kills you with them. Uh, Heraldic Banner is interesting in this deck. It does two things. First off, it pumps all your black creatures, right? Obviously, it turns all of your uh, Whisper Squad, Serrated Scorpions, and blah, blah, blah into two twos instead of just one twos, which is relevant, especially in a mirror match. But it also ramps you into a turn four Obosh, which can be just a huge start. And then the mana base is pretty simple. You've got a bunch of swamps. You have a single mobilized district, which is a card that has been forgotten into the annals of magic history. And you've got four castle lock dwains, which can get you out of a rut if you start stuttering. So the cards I'm looking at here that have me kind of like scratching my head a little bit are the discard spells and then the four hunted nightmares. Um, I assume they're like flex slots and stuff like that. Shadow Spear is interesting. There's more discard. There's early game removal, stuff like that. But um, there you go. That's going to be mono black Obosh. Obosh, again, is a very important part of this deck. A lot of times people will play Obosh as a red black sacrifice deck, but I decided to go just the aggro mono black plan. Just turn my card sideways, not have to think too much about what's going on, right? So that's going to go ahead and do it for the uh, 30 second deck tech or whatever you want to call it. We'll go ahead and jump into some matches here. Same as always, we'll play about four or five, whatever we're feeling at the time, and see if we can obosh some people out of the game. Thanks for watching, as always. Subscribe below for more content like this. Find us on Twitter, MTG underscore Manorox, and let's jump into match number one. All right, ladies and gents, welcome. We are here with obosh in match number one on the draw. With a deck that really wants to be on the play. Hunted Nightmare so much better on the play than the draw. I think we probably keep on the back of Castle Lockdown here. We've got one drop into three drops, but the Hunted Nightmares could be pretty bad. No companion on the other side, but as a test game, we'll just see if a four land hand is good enough. Looks like we're against Mono Red, or could be Red Black Sacrifice, could be, um, oh, let's not do that. Could be Red Black Sacrifice, or it could be, um, a cavalcade of calamity deck either way i think i just go for gutter bones on turn one i could just play a knight of the ebon legion they kill it whatever we'll go for gutter bones although gutter bones can't even attack into this thing that's fine i wasn't planning on blocking it scorch spitter i mean grim initiate makes me think cavalcade of calamity the no attack from the other side makes perfect sense although the see look hunted nightmare already looking pretty bad because they're going to put a death touch counter on their first striker which is just embarrassing from my side of the battlefield. 
still probably going to play it out. And they'll just have a board of death touchers that we can't block. Ever. Annex. So this is probably less cavalcade, more just straight mono red. I guess you could play annex and cavalcade deck. That being said, I could free roll an attack with knight. I'm just going to go ahead and run this hunted nightmare out there. And they're going to put a death touch counter on their first striker, I presume. But 4-5 should be good against anything else. I can always just double strike, double block the first striker, just lose a single creature. And then they make two tokens on the way out. This is the type of hand that loses to Embercleave super hard. Again, you want to be on the play very, very badly. It's funny, I played this deck through like five or six matches, and I played against these like aggro decks every single time. Skewer, my 1-2, okay. Whatever. No attack. Drill bit seems good here. Um, if I attack with Hunted Nightmare, they can double block with this. Yeah, they can just double block, so that's bad. <laughs> um, do I want to go Knight, Hunted Nightmare, or do I want to drill bit them and go Knight? I think I just want to drill bit them, see if they've got an Ember Cleave or something like that. Take a burn spell. Oh yeah, get Torbrand out of there. Play this thing, pass turn. How do we get through a first striker? I guess we have murderous riders in the deck. Um, you might as well play that banneret. I know about it. Unless you're going to activate Castle Embrith this turn. Annex. Yeah, I'll trade off for Annex here. Could also go block, block. Um, can always get gutter bones back. Trade my four or five off for death toucher. They make two tokens, but they're just throwing annex away here. I think the fact that I can get gutter bones back means I should probably just block the other one. Or block like this. Not sure if that's right or not. Make some tokens. Gonna have to play another Hunted Nightmare. Could play Obosh as well. But we're gonna lose to our own first striking creature, I think. Maybe I just wanna empty my hand as much as possible. Thing is, I can never attack into this thing. <laughs> play another Hunted Nightmare. I guess that's fine. Let's go ahead and play the Mobilized District. And... I think I do just want to empty my hand for the Castle Walk Thwain here. Give them some Death Touchers and try to outcard them. Alright, put a Death Touch counter on something else. Scorch Spitter, that's fine. Take a little bit of damage from Scorch Spitter for now. I think that's probably okay. Oh. They draw Embercleave. Oh, they're attacking with that? No, you need to keep that back on defense. Uh, we're not getting Ember Cleaved. They're basically throwing away a Goblin Banneret. They could have Rimrock Knights. They could have just a Shock. Might as well just double block. Make sure it dies. I don't know what else could happen there. But it looks like they... Oh yeah, they can also pump it. <laughs> That's a thing they can do. That was weird play from them. Alright, so what are we doing here? Attacking with Hunted Nightmare, they can't block it, and then get back a couple Gutter Bones, perhaps? I could have also just shot him for 8 there with Obosh. Alright, so we'll play Gutter Butt, Gutter Butt, Swamp. Pass turn. Opponent does have Castle Embrith active. They've got pretty good blockers here. Another Grim Initiate, sure. Mm-hmm. All right, take six. Well, seven, technically. All right, another Swamp. So let's go Swamp. Could cast Obosh now, if I really wanted to. If I cast Obosh and attack with everything, and they double block here, they take eight. Or if they go block, block, they take eight. Could also activate Mobilize District. I think I'll draw a card. Looking for a Whisper Squad or something along those lines. Just flood the board with creatures. Try to out-creature my opponent here. Uh, out 
card value them, obviously. Obosh is really good with Serrated Scorpion. Can you imagine this card is getting played in Standard? When you sell this card in the spoiler, or you like Standard All-Star? Serrated Scorpion. <clears throat> uh-huh. So I could actually triple block this and get this thread off the board. Go block, block, block. No, they can pump it, though. No blocks. I'm not going to, like, chump with a Serrated Scorpion unless I have Obosh on board. Rimrock Knight, sure. And they're going to cast Rimrock Knight, another creature that can't block, funnily enough. Okay, so... <laughs> wow, this card, I don't know, this card's not looking too great. Although, I can't cast both of these anyway. I think I'm just going to get Obosh on board here. And... Uh, attack with my 4-5? They, have, they can block with Death Toucher plus another creature. Trade off with Scorch Spitter and something else. It doesn't seem too bad. Although this holds back most of their attacks. I think I hold tight here for a second. Mobilize District does not get double damage because it is an even converted mana cost. Good to know. I feel like I'm going to die to an Ember Cleave or something here. But, yeah, the Hunted Nightmare, not what you want to play against this deck. You would clearly board out these and bring in, like, Disfigures or something like that if we were playing best of three. Uh, opponent's doing some sort of math, which can't be good for me. Never mind. <laughs> Double Hunted Nightmare. Just give my opponent's whole team Death Touch. The thing is, these deal eight damage if they go unblocked. My opponent only has three blockers. These things can't block, so if I just flood the board with Hunted Nightmares, it doesn't matter too much that their things have um, Death Touch if they just don't have that many blocks, right? Like right now, if I attack with everything, they go block, block, they take, or I guess let's say they go double block Hunted Nightmare, block Obosh, they take 2, 4, 5 times 2 is 10, um, and if they go block, 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 they take 8. So I'm just going to throw out a bunch of Hunted Nightmares, and sure, they can have Death Touch on their first strikers, but whatever. We're going to try and out-creature them, for sure. We have Mobilized District, which is an attacker as well. And no attacks this turn. The first strike Death Touch thing is also really good if they end up drawing an Ember Cleave, because it means they only have to sign one point of damage, they get to trample a bunch of other stuff. So let's see what their draw is here. Because so we might might be able to just push in a win next turn. I guess, again, they have three blockers. I am not blocking that. They, I mean, this should attack. It can't block. It has death touch, so if I block it, I lose something. Mobilize District costs, what, three to become a creature right now? Uh-huh. Rimrock Knight as well. I mean, if they have Ember Cleave, I'm just in bad shape anyway. This doesn't feel like an Ember Cleave. Alright, so this is four damage. I feel like I'm supposed to put the Scorpion in front of Rimrock Knight. And just gain some life back off the Scorpion here. Plus, Scorpion deals 4 damage to my opponent when it dies. Rimrock Knight there. Okay, so I take 3, but I'm going to gain 2 back. My opponent's going to take 4. And they still have 3 blockers. Let's see if we've got them here. Duress, sure. Good draw. Um, Alright, so if we activate Mobilize District and attack with everything, they have three blockers. So let's say they go block this, block Mobilize District, block a Gutter Bones. They super die. Because if two of these get through, they're dead. They deal eight damage apiece. Uh, oh, they have... <sighs> shoot. The first strike death touch thing messes up. So I don't want to send Obosh into combat. Um... 
because then they can first strike off oh bosh my creatures don't deal as much damage if i just attack with three hunted nightmares my opponent can block one of them the other ones get through right so that's just game right Yeah, again, these deal 8 damage apiece. As long as I don't send Obosh in combat and get it first striked off, they should just be dead here. They take 8. Alright. Looks like my opponent figured that out before I did, and they just conceded as soon as the attack came through. I don't know why that took me so long. Maybe I had it last turn. I don't know. Alright, Hunted Nightmare. Ah! <laughs> it made it so we couldn't attack, but they also ended up winning the game, so I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the card. We'll see how it plays against somebody who's not playing 1-1 one -one first strikers. But anyway, that's match number one in the books. Let's go ahead and jump into match number two. See you there. Hello, ladies and gents. We are here. Ooh, mirror match. Oh, bosh. They could easily be red-black. Like I said, if they're playing red-black and they have, you know, claim the firstborn, um, mayhem devil, stuff like that, we're just not going to beat that deck. Because, like, they claim the first board rod in Regisaur, attack us for seven, sack it. It, it just lost. Um, could be mon against mono black, though. So let's go ahead and keep play Gutter Bones on turn one here. Hello, opponent. Hello, Gray. Okay. That is most likely a mirror match. Uh, that's not a bad draw, so we can go Scorpion Drill Bit, but we do need to draw a third land, obviously. Let's go ahead and drill bit you and see what you got going on. Whisper Squad, Scorpion, Scorpion. I think I just take Whisper Squad because it's like killing a bunch of other Whisper Squads. Heraldic Banner. My opponent is red-black though, interestingly enough. So they're playing a similar version with probably Witch's Oven type stuff. Do I take Whisper Squad here? I think so, right? Because that just floods the board with other creatures. We'll play a Scorpion and pass. And this could be a good hand to draw. A third land. That'd be nice. Do I trade with Gutter Bones? No. Almost assuredly not. They're going to play Double Scorpion here, though. Eh, it did have to shock. Another Drill Bit. Kind of annoying. If I attack with the Gutter Bones, do they block? I can't play anything, so I feel like I've... Already fallen very far behind by not having a third land and having a glut of three drops here. I'm gonna attack with gutter bones. It's a good chance they just don't block, but if they do, sure. And can't drill bit them either. They're gonna go heraldic banner. And they were going to kill me. Unless I can get a third land immediately. All right, I will trade with your Gutter Bones. Try to keep creatures off board if I can. We'll both be at 16 here. Let's see if they have another one drop. They do. And Swamp, that's probably game. Mayhem Devil, sure. All right, well, I mean, this is not particularly interesting game. But take five, go down to 11. These don't even really stabilize at this point. Okay, that's a mana screw game. I guess I can continue playing, but I mean, I don't really see the point here. Um, yeah, they, they, they've got it. They can just jam, and at some point, the scorpions are going to kill me. I block four, I take three, four, five, six, seven down to four. They just jam the next turn. All right, mana screw got us there. Uh, it happens. I feel like that was a perfectly defensible keep. We just didn't draw a third land. Uh, this deck does have 24 lands, so it's not like we're skimping on a land count or anything like that. So not the most interesting match there, but uh, it happens, and we'll jump back in for match number four. See you there. Well, welcome back, ladies and gents. Easy Mulligan here. No one drops. Too many three drops. Uh, this is much better. We're against Luris. We'll see if it's Cyclone deck or not. What do I want to ditch here? Uh, Duress, if they're not the Cyclone deck, Duress is probably pretty poor. If they are the Cyclone deck, it's probably pretty good because it can snipe a Zenith Flare. I feel like I kind of want to keep the banner, and I want to keep all the one drops, so I think I'm just going to ditch Duress here. I'm on the draw. Let's see uh, what flavor they are. Cyclone. Oh, no, they're Loris Sacrifice, which is a bad matchup for us because, again, Claim the Firstborn just dominates our deck. But it's okay. We do have the uh, a good start here. Uh, actually, very good start of going 
uh, one drop into double one drop into banner. But we're against very similar cards. They have cat oven going already. Okay. I think I can just attack into that, right? And if they trade, they don't get to keep, keep the cat thing going. I guess they... I mean, I'm going to give them the opportunity to trade here. They're going to block and sack. I, I'm sorry that this matchup comes up because it's so dreadfully painful to sit through opponents doing the witch oven thing. Like, this is a matchup you want to play in paper, not, <laughs> not, not in person, or not on arena because it just takes forever to do the cat thing, right? But it's fine. Opponent's got a good start. I've got a good start. Um... They've got a lot of good cards against me, though, is the problem. We are going to have a Heraldic Banner next turn. Drawing a one-drop next turn would be fantastic. Just being able to go Heraldic Banner, pump my board, um, play a one-drop would be awesome. Haven't drawn any Whisper Squads. Played four matches with no Whisper Squads. Scorpion, yeah. Scorp, Scorp, Scorp. Rotting Regisaur, that's the card that I'm scared to play here because of Claim the Firstborn. So, I think that's going to be a last resort card. Um, if I attack, do they like double block a knight and trade the cat? No, probably not. So I think... I think they're probably going to trade Scorpion for Gutter Bones and then just block sack. Take two. I'll name Black. Now jam. Gonna give them the option to do whatever they want with that scorpion. Sure. And can play Obosh next turn, which um, is immune to claim the firstborn. But I have noticed some of these decks play um, um, Act of Treason in best of one. I guess for whatever reason, people are playing Act of Treason. But I mean, I'm not gonna not play my Obosh, and I'm not gonna play Rod and Regisaur right away okay they've got the dread horde butcher again this card makes um the the thing the um God, what's that card called i can't think of the name of the card <laughs> uh the hunted whatever the dog the menace creature it's so bad you put a death touch counter on this and it dies they sack it and kill your dude all right well we're gonna eight ball our opponent here our opponent did miss a third land they're gonna go ahead and shoot down a knight of the ebon legion i can dig it they're still going to take four here, though, so this Knight of the Ebon Legion is going to get a counter on it, which is kind of nice. And we'll try to just capitalize on the fact that the opponent's mana screwed here. I'm going to play a Rod and Regisaur, of course. Priest of the Forgotten Gods. That's pretty absurd with Claim the Firstborn if they have it. That being said, this is four, five, six, seven. They have to block here, I think. Otherwise, it's 14 damage. So, I mean, they're going to block Sack. Um, it's bad news bears, although it is better to get this down while they don't have the cat on board. They're more likely to sack the cat and given the priest death touch isn't too big of a deal. So I guess if we get claimed, we get claimed. Cat block knight, and I assume no block on Obosh. Opponent still keeping their life total fairly high, despite not really attacking me much. Obosh does deal 8 here, though. Pow. Could go Gutter Bones. I think I'm just going to play the 2-3 drops in my hand. If they have Claim, they have Claim. And you may put a Death Touch counter on it. They could bring back the Cat here in response to this and put a Death Touch counter on the Cat, but... uh. That cat's probably not trading for something, so... I guess they have two food, so that's not true. And counter on knight. Okay, bring back kitty cat. Opponent goes to 10 here. And let's see. Claim. They don't have lands. They have, like, double claim the firstborn. They just have, like, the nut draw against me. Yep, they're, they're deciding which creature to steal. Do you have the second claim? I will not block. I mean, do you Witches Oven the Haunted Nightmare, or do you sack it? Okay, I mean, keeps them off of blockers. I think I just get rid of Rod and Regisaur. 
Both of these are already lethal. Ditch Rod and Regisaur here. Yep. Now they have five mana. They can go Loris into Dread Horde Butcher or something along those lines. And I'm at six. I'll call the Death Dweller, sure. Yeah, I think we've probably lost this game at this point. This thing with Death Touch can shoot down a creature. All right, you got it. You got it, opponent. You got it. Need them to not have claimed the Firstborn. Just one time, when I play against this, I need them to not have the card claim the Firstborn. But again, it, best of three, you would kind of shift your deck around a little bit. Um, what's that, two and two? I don't know, we'll play one more here. Uh, I kind of lost track of how many matches we've played, but uh, <laughs> we'll play one more and then we'll call it a day with Obosh. Mono Black Aggro coming up, match four and or five coming up. All right, welcome back. Hey, remember that time we played the four Whisper Squad deck with like 12 one drops and we didn't draw any one drops in our opening hands? We'll go ahead and mull. Uh, certainly better. Easy put back a Whisper Squad. And let's go squad up. We'll just start squad and no companion on the other side. We'll see what that means here in a second. Temple Garden. Turn, turn one Temple Garden. What does that mean? All right. So we can either just activate Whisper Squad or get some Scorpions into play. I think I'm fine just playing the Scorpions here. Or maybe not. Maybe I go activate Whisper Squad and then on turn three go Whisper Squad Serrated Scorpion. Just get value out of this thing while I can. Although if we draw a Heraldic Banner, we'll rather have the Scorpions. All right. Scorpions on board. And we can start activating Whisper Squads now. Against Abzan, Cheville, sure. Cheville's nice. Do we want to just kill Cheville right away and attack for three? Uh, this could be a bunch of things. Um, so they're going to put a bounty counter on thing, which means they've got a bunch of removal in their deck. I guess we just Murderous Rider this now and deal three, right? That way they don't ever get a bounty counter on my guy. Doesn't build my board at all, but does get an immediate threat out of the way. Let's me poke in for a little bit of damage. The more damage I get in early on, the better, because these scorpions can mop up later. Ah, we're playing like Abzan humans. Sure. Uh, I think I go double whisper squad here and hold back. Sacrifice two humans, destroy target creature with power four or greater. It's not going to be particularly useful against my deck, I don't think. But we'll double Whisper Squad and then turn 5 Obosh, I suppose. Maybe just attack with everything. Kaya! Exiles 1 drops. Tedious. Sure. Alright, well I guess we have to kill Kaya next turn, even if it means throwing away some creatures. General Kudro is not attacking. Squad up, homie. I guess Whisper Squads are the perfect card to put back in a mulligan, right? <laughs> uh, squad up. Drill bit. So we're going to play Obosh. And we are going to send two of these at Kai, the guarantee it dies. Two of these at them. They're going to take two and kill a Whisper Squad, I suppose. Go down to 12. Maybe I just don't attack them. And then they eat one of these. Yeah, they get to eat one regardless. So I might as well send some creatures at them. And I'm sorry I have to plug in my computer. Battery is dying. All right, what happened? I looked away for a second, and the opponent seems to have missed a land drop and just passed back. I'm just going to attack with these three and go, like, I guess I could drill bit them. They, they might just kill Obosh in the middle of combat here. Do I attack with Obosh? Is there something that can make humans at instant speed? Yeah, I, I don't know what I'm playing around here, really. Don't see human decks too often. Six, seven, eight... If they don't kill Obosh, 
they die. It looks like they have removal assassin's trophy. Okay. So they're only going to take four here. I'll get a swamp. And uh, shabam. Okay, opponent goes down to eight. We'll go ahead and, can we do everything? We can go Registor plus Drill Bit. We can't go Murderous Rider, Re Registor, Drill Bit. All right, we'll go ahead and Drill Bit you. But we can go Drill Bit, Registor. Oh my God. Oh my God. So they can play a two drop. I think I just want to take Fiend Artisan or something like that. They have one creature in the graveyard. I guess these are all pretty bad. I think I take Hero of Precinct 1. Play Rod and Regisaur, and then we'll fetch another Whisper Squad here. Our last Whisper Squad. Alright. Tulsimir will be a problem. For sure. Sure, Exile Obash, you got it. Squad up. Discard nothing. Play a Castle Lockthwain. Activate a Castle Lockthwain. Heraldic Banner. So, play that for sure. And then they have to chump this. They don't necessarily have to block the Whisper Squads, though. They just have to chump the Rod and Regisaur. But if they chump with Skull Prophet, there's no guarantee. Oh, they scoop. Well, that's not an auto win. But if they do have to chump with probably Skull Prophet, and that doesn't guarantee they get to play Tulsimir next turn. So, nice. Whisper Squads uh, really shown there. So I would just want to draw the Whisper Squads, but I guess we're not allowed to have them. Um, so, sorry if that was only four matches instead of five. I think it was five, right? I think we lost two games and won three. I don't know. I kind of lost track there after we got completely uh, spanked by the um, the red-black Luris deck. But that was fun. Uh, if you want to just turn your cards sideways, Obosh is a good way to do it. I'm not, you know, an expert on whether red-black is better than mono-black, excuse me, or anything along those lines. Um... The duresses seem not good to me, right? But obviously the downside of playing an Obosh deck here is that you can't play two drops, right? So you do have to play a decent number of one drops, even though, hey, look, <laughs> 16 one drops. It, it's a wonder we ever draw a hand that doesn't have a one drop. I'm not sold on Hunted Nightmare. Um, maybe this, I feel like this should be better off in the sideboard and then comes in against creature light decks or decks where you don't care about their creatures having death touch. Um, it just felt like, you know, we played against Rakdos multiple times. We played against First Strikers and Creature Decks. This is just, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sold on it. Uh, Rod and Regisaur is still fine. I would probably bring in the other Murderous Riders here, or maybe there's another one drop. Maybe go for the Cat thing, Falmire Knights, things of those nature. But uh, Castle of Lockdwain is obviously really good. Heraldic Banner, surprisingly, is great. And Obosh sometimes is just enough to completely hose your opponent. Similar to Limited, if you played it. Mobilized District, yeah, that's probably fine. We could have made a use for this at some point. But there you go. That's Obosh, the Prey Piercer, Mono Black. And that leaves us with three more decks. We have Luris, which will be a Cyclone deck. Kahira, which I'm not sold on the deck I want to play here when we do hit Kahira. And then Gigantha, which is going to be a niv mizzet deck. But three more decks to go. Thanks for watching up to this point. I hope you've enjoyed. Remember to subscribe below for more content like this. Find us on Twitter at MTG underscore Manorox. Seriously, go to Twitter right now. Search MTG underscore Manorox. The dude with five followers, make it a six follower. Um, I would appreciate it. That's going to do it. My name is Timothy with Manorox. Thanks for watching. See you next time.